In the WCBS Eye on Politics, we are joined here in the newsroom by the Consul General of Israel in New York, Ambassador Ido Aharoni. Mr. Ambassador, welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Well, just weeks after things quieted down in Gaza, Israel is uh, facing a new threat. Al-Qaeda fighters are hunkered down just across the border from the Golan Heights. How worrisome is this to Israel? Well, we're always worried when we have to deal with uh, radical organization, the the, the, the support, the brutal, deadly ideology. Al-Qaeda is only one of many uh, organizations and groups out there uh, that are interested not only in the destruction of the state of Israel, but also in the obliteration of the entire Western civilization. Are you more concerned about collateral damage from the Syrian conflict or an actual incursion by al-Qaeda forces into Israel? Well, thank God we have a strong military that is uh, ready for all eventuality. We have to deal with uh, the disintegration of Syria. This is, in fact, what we're looking at. We have to deal with the threat posed by Hezbollah, which is another Iranian-backed terrorist or terrorist group based in Lebanon. We have to deal with uh, Hamas uh, down south in the Gaza Strip. Uh, we have to deal with other forces uh, that um, are interested in inflicting harm on innocent Israelis. Uh, so at this point, what we're doing is simply very carefully monitoring the situation, preparing our military for all eventuality. Of course, the story of the summer has been Gaza. The peace appears to be holding. Yes, and I think that the main reason why the truce uh, that was put in place is still holding is because Hamas was so badly beaten. 70% of their rocket and missile capability was taken out. Most of the uh, offensive penetration tunnels that they built were destroyed by Israel. Um, and Hamas um, uh, lost uh, much of its uh, military leadership in the Gaza Strip. So I think under these conditions, uh, it would be very difficult for Hamas to resume uh, the hostilities. How did Hamas build its relative military might, and are you concerned about retooling and reinstigating? Yes, we certainly are concerned with the possibility that Hamas will use uh, uh, the next months and possibly even years to replenish, regroup, and bring in some more weapons. Um, the way they were able to amass this uh, uh, really critical mass of 12,000 rockets and missiles, some of them Fajr 3 and Fajr 5, 75 kilometer range, 100 kilometer range, were provided by Syria with the help and the funding of Iran, of Qatar. Um, many of the rockets and the missiles were brought in through the Sinai Peninsula under Morsi's presidency in Egypt. Uh, we believe that the current uh, Egyptian administration, headed by President Assisi, uh, is not interested in helping Hamas simply for the uh, reason that Hamas is the ideological twin of the Islamic Brotherhood in Egypt, which is considered to be the number one opposition to the current administration. How damaging was that 50-day conflict with Hamas to Israel, to the economy, to tourism and the like? Well, it was damaging uh, uh, on a number of levels. The first is uh, the, the fact that you had 70% of Israel's population in bomb shelters for two months, uh, destroyed the summer to hundreds of thousands of Israeli children, traumatized hundreds of thousands of Israeli children. Of course, paralyzed the economy of the entire southern region in Israel. But beyond that, inflicted major harm on Israel's uh, tourism industry, both foreign tour tourism as well as domestic tourism, and of course uh, had a negative impact, which is right now being assessed on, uh, on uh, trade relations with our neighbors. For the first time this summer, can Israel collectively exhale and relax a bit, or can Israel ever collectively exhale and relax a bit. Well, the good news is that uh, if you look at what's happening in the Middle East as part of a century-old Arab onslaught against Jewish national sovereignty in the Holy Land, and you look at Israel's achievements of the things that we were able to achieve uh, during that century, uh, then uh, the inevitable conclusion is that we can do well. We can thrive even, even under these harsh circumstances. He is the Consul General of Israel in New York, Ambassador Ido Aharoni. Mr. Ambassador, again, thank you for joining us. Thank you.